We're going to throw things to Jack Nolan now at the Hiller family midfield set as he welcomes our next, next guest on the Notre Dame Day video hotline. Jack? Thanks, Emily. You know, about 8 to 10 million Americans tune into their local PBS affiliates on Monday nights to watch a show during which experts in various and specialized fields tell us about unique, sometimes extremely valuable antiques. The show is, of course, Antiques Roadshow. And with us now on the Notre Dame video hotline is Dan Farrell, a member of the Notre Dame class of 1969 and the man responsible for bringing Antiques Roadshow to the United States. Dan, it is a pleasure to speak with you today. Well, thank you. It's delightful to be here. Antiques Roadshow obviously has had tremendous success, but you started off your career in the film industry. Can you tell us about that aspect of your life? Well, I did start off, actually, even before the film industry. I worked in the banking business in Chicago, wow. right out of Notre Dame. And, um, but I got involved in doing finance for the film industry. So... Um, that led me to actually producing some films. And I was, um, I was in charge of what I like to call special financial effects, um, helping put the deals and the finance together for a number of films. And I have been told that you were involved in some very big name productions, big name movies. Can you mention a few that you were involved with? Well, you know, you have to go back a little while now. I haven't done it in quite a bit, but. I did put together the finance for the first Superman movie, which wow. was uh, the one that Christopher Reeve star starred in. And then right after that for uh, a film called The Three Musketeers. And then probably the most important film that I put the finance together for um, was Apocalypse Now. Wow. So you were involved in some certainly... Uh some of the biggest movies in the, the history of uh, Notre Dame or uh, United States filmmaking, but your biggest impact has got to be Antiques Roadshow. And I know you saw the British version of it and thought it would work here in the United States. Talk about that process, what you thought when you first saw it. Why do you think it would work here? Well, you know, I, I guess my main reason was I saw it in its first or second season in England and when I was living and working in London. And I was just, I, I couldn't turn it off. I was captivated by it. And I thought, well, if I like it that much, other people must be able to like it too. Now, most American television shows, with very few exceptions, 60 Minutes is one in the, in the news category, but most of them run their course and the audience trickles off and they are eventually canceled. But with Roadshow, it just seems to be getting more and more popular. What do you think it is that keeps people coming back again and again? Well, I can tell you that we, uh, over the last couple of weeks, have been out on the road making new shows for season 23. Oh. Um, that's pretty amazing. And, and I think what's really the secret is that the show is not about antiques. The show is about treasure hunting. Yeah. And that never seems to go out of style. And that's what I was going to, when I watch it, mostly it's, it's stuff people have found in their attics, in garage sales, down the street at a flea market. What is the, f what is your favorite item that you have seen come through the show over the years? Oh, I think my favorite item has to be a painting uh, that came into the show in Texas that was a, an early work by Diego Rivera. And what was exciting about it was that it was a known painting. It was in the catalog resume of the artist. But next to the painting, they had the indication whereabouts unknown. It had been missing for over 30 years. And then it just, it walked into one of our shows. Wow. Well, it doesn't make me unique, but I'm certainly a fan of Antiques Roadshow. So thank you, Dan, for all the work that you did to bring it to the States. It's been great speaking with you. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for being part of ND Day. My pleasure. Thank you.